hello and welcome to another episode of The More You Share, The More You Know. I'm Yoselina Hernandez with Region 19 here in El Paso, Texas. And we're going to be looking at a couple of Web 2.0 tools that you can use in your classroom for uh, maybe your students to create something or for yourself. And those two tools are Screencast-O-Matic and, and also PicMonkey. So let's go ahead and look at Screencast-O-Matic first. So I'm going to go ahead and go online to Screencast-O-Matic. And if you, know, if, if you can't find it, you can just Google it, and it's usually the very first uh, uh, link that you find on there. So Screencast-O-Matic, what, what it is is a way for you to create a quick video it's free, you don't have to log into anything. And this video would be of, of a tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start recording because it does take a few, um, maybe a couple of minutes. It's gonna give you the security warnings. So just go ahead and run it. And then what'll happen is you're, you're gonna get a screen that's gonna pop up. And you can modify this however you want to your needs. And again, so this would be, for example, let's say that you're getting a question as to how to do something, and this question is repeated often. And so what you want to do is be able to just give people the video so that they can uh, know how to do this, uh, whatever it is that they're asking you for. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that as my screen. And you can, you can put it however you want. Then when you're, when you're ready, you're going to hit record. If you have a microphone, you're going to see this down here. You're going to see the little microphone move. If you don't, it's not going to happen. It's, uh, you're not going to see anything different here. And you can change the size here if you want. You can also have the camera if you'd really uh, want to have yourself in there. Um, and then here is where you would cancel it. So I'm going to go to the screen where I was already logged in to. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, just uh, navigate around uh, Project Share. We have a, um, I'm already logged into Project Share, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and get started here. So I'm gonna hit record. It's telling you it's starting. And so at this point, anything that I'm saying, it's recording into the video. I can uh, navigate around the, uh, the web page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my portfolio, I'm gonna go back to my portal, go to courses. So I'm just gonna navigate around just to create a, a quick practice video. Once I'm finished, I'm gonna go ahead and click done. I can preview the video. And so at this point, anything that I'm saying is recording into the video. So uh, what I wanted to show you is that notice that as I'm moving my mouse, you're going to see this yellow circle around it. That's telling everybody where your mouse is. That's telling everybody what, uh, what's, can, uh, what you're trying uh, to do. I can navigate around the, uh, the, uh, the web page. The web so I'm gonna go ahead and click on. And then notice that when you click, it, it creates a, a blue circle and that's telling people that's where you're gonna click. So this is a very useful uh, way to create a, a quick tutorial. Notice it didn't take a long time. I just had to click start recording, selected my area, and then I started recording. Now you can do a few things um, on here. I'm gonna go ahead and publish it to a video file. If you want to go directly to YouTube, you can go ahead and uh, publish it to YouTube from here, or you can publish it to Screencast-O-Matic if you'd like. But I'm gonna go ahead and download it because I would like for my teachers to be able to see this video later. You have options here of what kind of video, um, uh, a video type you'd like to save. You can save it as QuickTime, Windows Media Flash, or an animated image if you'd like. And then again, you can give it a full size HD, or you can rescale it to something that, that uh, you're, you're gonna want to have. Now you can also add notes if you want. And what it is, is you're gonna put the notes at a specific time in the video. So it'll pop up for the people that are watching your tutorial or your video, it's gonna pop up at a specific time. So for example, I can do um, 10 seconds here. Actually, let's do five seconds. I'm gonna click Add Note. And then I can add captions if I want. And I, I, I have more options here of 
what, uh, what I want to show in my video. Once I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and click Save Video. I'm just going to name it Practice. You tell it exactly where you want to save it. I'm going to save it on the desktop. And now this might take a few minutes, but once it's finished, it's a video that you can uh, share with anybody. You can email it to other people. And um, so here's my video. I saved it in QuickTime. And so at this point, anything that I'm saying is recording into the video. I can uh, navigate around the, uh, the web page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my portfolio and go back to my okay. So I'm going to go ahead and, and pause it here. So that's basically how you create a tutorial. So it's a very quick way to do that if you uh, would like to uh, create any videos for your teachers or for any other, uh, maybe for your administrators, etc. Now one thing that I, I, this is absolutely free, however, once you record a video in, in the computer, the next time that you come back to it, it's going to remember that there's a video that, that has been recorded. So it, it's going to ask you if you would like to continue with that video or if you want to delete it, because you can only have one video on there. But if you've already saved it into your computer, then it's OK to go ahead and just delete it, and then you can create another one. So that's Screencast-O-Matic, very easy. Uh, we're going to be looking into the next Web 2.0 tool, and that is um, that's going to be PicMonkey. So I'm going to go up here. Now PicMonkey is a tool where you or your students can edit um, any pictures that you, that you want to edit. You have a lot of options on here. If you don't have money to purchase, for example, Photoshop, you know, it doesn't give you all those options for free, but it does give you quite a, quite a few options for you to edit. So I'm going to go ahead and edit a photo. You can also create a collage, by the way. So I'm going to go ahead and, and edit a photo. I'm going to find a picture that I already had on here. So I have this uh, picture of a, of a dog. I can crop it if I want to. So let's go ahead and crop it. And then right here, I can change the options, scale it. I'm going to just go ahead and apply what I had. I can rotate it if I'd like to. And then I can change the exposure. So there are a lot of options on here for me. Notice that all of these are free. Sharpen, resize, etc. Now look at some of the other options over here. Some of the effects that you can add. What I wanted to show you, if you see this little crown here, that is an option for the, peop the people who have paid for, for, the, um, uh, for the upgrade. So if you don't see the crown, all of this is free. So let's say that I'm going to go ahead and change this a little bit. Apply it. So there, there are many options that I can do. Notice the boost, the soften. So I do have a lot of options. I can do a little touch up. I can add text if I want to. Again, all of these are free except for the ones that have the crown down here. I can put an overlay if I want to as well. And so I do have a lot of options on here. So once I'm finished, I can go ahead and save it. And I'm just going to name it dog1, save photo. Again, tell it where, I, tell the program where I want to save it. And it's done. So I did have a lot of options for editing a picture. It was very easy. I didn't have to log into anything. I didn't need an email. I didn't have to, um, I, you know, it was just very easy to go in there. All I needed was a picture, an image, and then I went ahead and edited. Uh, the, the image. So this is very easy for your students. You just have to remember the website and um, everything's very user friendly. All right. Well, thank you for joining us for another episode of The More You Share, The More You Know. I hope that these tools are helpful to you and we'll see you next time.